All right, boys and girls, yesterday was the first day of Taris Land, the global launch. What we did experience? How was the first day? The first day was about the just gameplay, the world feeling, the you know, new feeling of the new MMORPG. And yes, we played already betas, we tried the game before, but you know, the launch day is the main day. And it was okay nothing big it was not like you know super hyped for some reason many people was pushed to different servers like for instance for me it was eastern europe but i'm from spain and my guild was registered in europe as well so we created characters we start to play and somewhere on level 20 which is the limit for first day which is super stupid but anyway on the level cup we understood okay we can't apply to the guild because we're on a different servers we start to recreate the characters european server number one was already full so we need to wait and then we went and create our characters and now everything is fine it's not a big deal but you know as always during the launch on the mmorpg servers something happening it was no queues at all and we have only two servers in europe i don't know how many in north america and do we have any others i know that we have eastern europe and it's it's actually okay you have plenty of people in the cities you have plenty of people for the dungeons but the thing is the main activity was questing which is the main quest just to understand the game a little bit if you didn't play before a little bit of questing the main quest was like i don't know one hour one hour plus of the gameplay and then you have a dungeon and you have elite dungeon so you did both of them you are top gear score you are top level which is 20 for the first day and 26 for the second one you tried your skills you tried your different specializations and that's basically all you can go and you have to go every day from 10 a.m i think to 11 p.m to the battlegrounds where you can collect twice a day the big reward for the currency pvp currency then a really small one if you lose the battlegrounds and you will have around one rank maybe two ranks a day and ranks in pvp is huge when you progress in the ranks you will have a lot more hp you will have a lot more attack power and everything and first day everybody was private then a corporal and then one guard and you have to go through all of this to become the one guard right away otherwise it's really hard on pvp a really really big difference now on the second day everybody is one guard and you can't go further because you need arena points and arena is not in the game so you would try the pvp a little bit it's actually fun like i'm playing as a priest healer right and it's actually fun but not so structured yet i don't even understand what's the conditions to win the game i just heal everybody it is fun for a few times but overall you can be afk in to get this all of the points so it's just at the beginning of the of the game skills yeah on level 20s it's not much that you can do with the skills right and uh, your build is not so deep let's put it like that so the uh, final thing is the tower and it, it's okay like you kill this boss a few times with different conditions and you can get some reward of course as it is the asian mmorpg you have so many different menus different currencies and different daily activities that you need to do and click to have these small rewards and that's fine actually the gam gamification process is okay the last piece is dungeons is the most interesting thing in the game right i think for the healer for sure pvp and the dungeons and that's actually interesting like normal dungeon is pretty simple with the mechanics the different mechanics let's take this ship mechanic or the different phases on the bosses even if in the first dungeon right elite is a little bit more interesting but still super 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 easy so what you can do in the end of the next day just create another character or go to sleep because next day you will have open six more levels that you can do and tomorrow will be the same but every day they add a little bit of additional content for instance today we'll have additional dungeons and raid boss and the battlegrounds are also rotating so the experience from my side about the first day that was interesting that was okay it was i already understand that this game will be not something revolutionary but it's fine like to wait prone at liberty till july and september to wait some like uh, ashes of creation it's actually a decent mmorpg and if the dungeons uh will keep be interesting like that and if they will bring arena i mean that's fine yeah so what do you think about the game did you try it yesterday and what's your opinion of course please subscribe to the channel i will continue with such kind of news 
a new guides like we have guide on the priest on the channel and also the overall guide about the game subscribe like and i will see you next one bye guys